Belly Laugh. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joseph Nagy. Belly Laugh by Gordon Randall Garrett. Me? I'm looking for my outfit. Got cut off in that Holland Tunnel attack. Mind if I sit down with you guys a while? Thanks. Coffee? Damn, this is heaven. Ain't seen a cup of coffee in a year. What? You said it. This sure is a hell of a war. Tough on a guy's feet. Yeah, that's right. Holland Tunnel skirmish. Where the Ruskies used that new gun. Uh-huh. God, it was awful. Guys popping off all around a guy and him not knowing why. No sense to it. No noise. No wound. Just popping off. That's the trouble with this war. It won't settle down to a routine. Always something new. What the hell chance has a guy got to figure things out? And I tell you, them Ruskies are coming up with new weapons just as fast as we are. Enough to make your hair stand on end. Sugar? Christ, yes. Ain't seen sugar for a year. You see, it's like this. We were bottled up in the pits around the tunnel for seven damn days. It was like nothing you ever saw before. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to splash you. I was laughing about something that happened there. To a guy. Maybe you guys would get a kick out of it. After all, we got to keep our sense of humor. You see, there was me and a Kentucky kid named Stillwell in this pit. Pretty big pit with lots of room. And we were all alone. This Stillwell was a nice kid. Green and lonesome, and it's pretty sad, really. But there's a yak in it. And as I say, we gotta keep a sense of humor. Well, this Stillwell, a really green kid, is unhappy and just plain drooling for his gal back home. He talks about his mother, of course, and his old man, but it's the girl that's really on his mind, as you guys can plainly understand. He's seeing her every place, like spots in front of his eyes, nice spots doing things to him. When this Ruski babe shows up, my gun came up without any orders from me just as she poked her puss over the edge of the pit and, huh? Oh, thank you kindly. It sure tastes good, but I don't want to short you guys. Thank you kindly. Well, as I was saying, this Ruski babe pokes her nose over the edge of the pit and Stillwell dives and knocks down my gun. He says, you son of a bitch! Just like that. Wild and desperate, like you'd say to a guy if the guy was just kicking over the last jug of water on a desert island. It would have been long enough for her to kill us if I hadn't had good reflexes. Even then, all I had to do was knock the pistol out of her hand and drag her into the pit. With her play bollocks, she was confused and bewildered. She ain't a fighter, and she sits back against the wall staring at us, deadpan with big, expressionless eyes. She's a plenty pretty babe, and I could see exactly what had happened as far as Stillwell was concerned. His spots had come to life in a very adequate form, so to speak. Stillwell goes over and sits down beside her, and I'm very much on the alert, because I know where this courage comes from. But I decide it's alright, because I can see the babe is not belligerent, just confused, kind of, and friendly. And willing. Kind of a whipped little dog willing. And man oh man, she was sure what Stillwell needed. They kind of went together like a hand in a glove. Natural like. And it followed, pretty natural, that when Stillwell got up and led her around a wing of the pit, out of sight, she went willing. Like that same little dog. Uh-huh. No, you guys, two's enough. I wouldn't rob you. Well, okay. And thanks kindly. Well, there I was, all alone, but happy for Stillwell, because I know it's what the kid needs. And in spots like that, what difference does it make? Yank, Ruski, Mongolian, as long as she's willing. Then you guys, Stillwell comes back out, wall-eyed, real wall-eyed, like being hit but not knocked out and still walking. I know what it is, some kind of shock. I get up and walk over, take a look at the babe where he left her, and I bust out laughing. I told you guys there was a yak in this. I laughed like a fool, it was that funny. As much as I had time to before Stillwell cracked. It was enough to crack him. The little thing that pushes a guy over the edge. He lets out a yell and screams, for Christ's sake, for Christ's sake, nothing but a bucket of bolts. Nothing but a couple of plastic lumps. That was when I hit him. I had to. He was for the birds. Stillwell was. An hour later, we got relieved and a couple of medicos carried him away, strapped to a stretcher, gone like a kite. They took that robot, too, and its clothes. But they forgot the brazier. So I took it and I've been carrying it ever since. But I'll leave it with you guys if you want, for the coffee. Might make you think about home. After all, like the man says... We gotta keep our sense of humor. Well, so long, you guys, and thanks. End of Belly Laugh by Gordon Randall Garrett. Recording by Joseph Nagy at josephnagy.com. That's J O Z E F N A G Y.com.